There are two different basic classes for decorative sheet zinc. The most typical alloy zinc with a little bit of titanium, which gives it strength and rigidity and a resistance to dents and dings. This is typically used for tables and decorative panels, sometimes referred to as bright or natural zinc. Another lesser used alloy is soft or dead soft sheet, which excludes titanium, making it very malleable. And as a side note, this removal of the stiffener alloy component and subsequent reference as soft is common with many metals. Dead soft material is historically used for roof flashing, and although it is easy to work with mallets and hammer tooling, it receives and holds dents and dings more easily. It is also usually available in much narrower widths because it's fabricated primarily for flashing details. At this point, I must talk about galvanized sheet. Hot dip galvanizing is the process of immersing iron or steel in a bath of molten zinc to produce a corrosion resistant, multi-layered coating. It can have all kinds of nasty stuff in there as well that helps the surface hold up to harsh outdoor elements. It is steel with a thin coating of zinc so it fabs much more differently than sheet zinc. Do not use galvanized steel for food surfaces. This is a big no-no. It can and will rust over time and it will release small nasty particles that could contaminate your food and cause big problems. Don't do it. I've seen all sorts of instructions on the internet over the years and it makes me want to outreach every time. Decorative elements are fine, but not for tops. Do not do this. Zinc sheet gauge or thickness works the same as with most gauges, but of course zinc sheets vary from standard wire gauge sizes and other sheet metal charts. In general, the higher the number gauge, the smaller the thickness. Thinner sheets tend to oil can more or ripple, while thicker sheets are harder to work and form, but resist rippling. Most commercially available sheets are in the 16 to 24 gauge range. When seeking the most commonly used thicknesses for sheet tables, look for a sweet spot with 22 gauge .027 inch or 20 gauge .03 inch, which is roughly 1 32nd of an inch. I like to use thicker sheets on bar tops, so a minimum of 16 gauge to 8 gauge .125 inches or 3 millimeter. As a rule of thumb, I remember 16 gauge is roughly 1 16th of an inch, or 0.06 inches, and 20 gauge is half of that, or 0.03 inches. Both are older, less common sizes for shotguns. I can interpolate between those for approximate thickness, and I can also know which direction the scale moves each way. When I look for maximum size that can be fabricated in sheet, this can be an elusive stat because each fabricator can spec lots of different size materials. But if they can't quickly figure the largest size or tell you how many seams a project will have, chances are they haven't completed enough projects to know these limitations. Not everyone can fabricate pieces 10 feet long without a seam, so do your homework to make sure you know what you're getting before ordering. In general, natural sheets come either 1 meter wide, 39.4 inches, or 48 inches wide, and in lengths from 8 feet to 10 feet. Though most product is spooled in production and can be made as long as you can comfortably transport and install on site. The widest dead soft material I've used is 27 inches. Width is generally the limiting factor. If you're ordering sheet for a project, know that it may come rolled up in a box, leaving it more susceptible to damage. If several sheets are needed for a project, consider a pallet charge where the distributor may be able to ship to you in a flat format saving time on rolling and distressing the product that might be rolled in a box. Remember that sheet must be cut and or wrapped around your substrate. So as a rule of thumb, remove a minimum of three and a half inches from both the length and width for a typical inch and a half substrate. As an example, an eight foot sheet can wrap a substrate 92 and a half inches or less. So account for your edge material and design your project smaller if possible.